Hey guys, so as most of you know, I am Swedish. Um, my parents moved me and my brothers over from Sweden when we were very young, um, primarily to pursue their dreams. This was the land of opportunity. I think overall, maybe that's still true if you compare this country to other countries in the world. Um, but I do believe that it isn't the same anymore. I just got back from a two and a half week family road trip and we went up from upstate New York through Vermont, New Hampshire, up to Maine, uh, making our way down the coast all the way back down to Florida. And it was amazing. We saw a lot along the way. Um, Maine, I loved, uh, looked very much like Sweden. Kennebunkport, mm, I'm going back there for sure. Um, then we went down to Newport, Rhode Island. What struck me was the opulence there. The amount of money, staggering. You have mansions that are like 40,000 square feet with like 19 chimneys. And you're like, wow, that's a lot of money. Then the stark difference between that and some towns that you encounter when you go into North Carolina, South Carolina, Little towns that maybe at one point were quaint and charming are now dead. Businesses boarded up, uh, grocery stores, uh, gas stations closed. Um, you see houses that are very run down. And it makes you wonder, where are those families? Um, what are they doing for money? Um, you see dash dreams you see no hope. Did big business come in and drive them out? And these are things that you're just struck with as you go through the countryside. And the reason I'm bringing this up is not to be a downer because that's not who I am, but I'm bringing it up to say, support local businesses. As we rode down um, the coast and all these different towns, we made a point to stop at the local artisans um, at the local coffee shops, the local farmers market or grocery store. Um, let's go back to that as much as we can. I know for a lot of us it's so much easier to go to Target, it's one-stop shopping and we don't have a lot of time anymore. We're all busy, um, especially if you have kids as well. Um, it's just easier. Um, and, and that's understandable and it's okay, but let's try to balance it out by, you know, once in a while going to that local grocery store or um, supporting that new restaurant that's opening around the corner. Um, go local as much as we can because not only are we supporting that families trying to put food on the table for their kids, but we're also supporting that dream, that concept, the reason why my parents moved over here, the land of opportunity. Um, we all have dreams and aspirations and goals, and but right now it's not equal. It's not equal. Um, the opportunities are not equal for us all. Um, if we have them, we are blessed. If we have doors that we can close and some that we can open and pick and choose, we are very blessed. Um, today's political environment says, if you work hard, you will make it. Um, and overall, that concept is true, but it is not equal for everyone. So I encourage not only myself, because I need to be reminded as well, but I encourage all of us to try, when we can, buy local. I'll see you next time. Shameless plug, if you are enjoying these vlogs and you wanna get a little boost every week, please come subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I also have music videos there. You will um, hear songs first, see videos first, and you'll be able to go back and look at the other vlogs that I have there. You'll be notified when a new one's coming out. Hope to see you there. To California I'm going to find my way yeah, yeah. I'm going